In this presentation, we will generate, analyze, print, and export to Excel a percentage of expense, profit and loss, or income statement report within QuickBooks Online. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in our test file, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. We're going to first start off by going to the reports on the left side. We're going to seek that report of the profit and loss in the standard reports up top tab. It should be in the favorites area, the profit and loss report being very popular. But if it's not, it's going to be down in the business overview. If we scroll down, we're going to start off with that profit and loss, make adjustments to it for the percentage of expense income statement or profit and loss. We'll select that item. Then we're going to scroll up top so that we can see the date range. We can change the range by selecting this drop down, but we're going to choose the beginning and ending custom date fields. We're going to start off with 010118. That's January 1st, 2018. Then go into 123118. That's December 31st, 2018, 2018. And then we will run that report. We will remind ourselves once again that this is a timing report, January through December. It's, judged, it's judging performance as opposed to the balance sheet, which is a point in time. We're now going to make a comparison, basically focusing in on the expenses. We want to do a type of vertical analysis, but see where the main expenses are in relation to themselves. Once again, allowing us better ability to compare to, say, other uh, companies in the same industry who may have more or less revenue or expenses than we do but are in a similar industry we want to benchmark to or compare ourselves to or to us time periods in the past or future where our revenues possibly were fairly significantly different and therefore a percentage comparison would be a useful thing to have in those cases as well for decision making to do this we're going to go up top to the select period and we're going to go down to the percentage of expense. So we want to go to the percentage of expense and then just run that report. And let's do that one more time. Run that report again, please. And we're really focusing down here on the uh, expenses. So if we consider the expenses in relation to total expenses, we are now comparing everything to total expenses. If we scroll down here to the total expenses, you'll see that's where the 100% is. So there's the 100%, which is 5,203.31 divided by 5,203.31. And we're comparing everything to that, everything in relation to that total expenses line. And so if we take a look at that, then any other expense that we're focusing in on, say this 900 for rent and lease, the calculation would be 900 divided by the 5203.31 giving us, if we move the decimal over 17.29, so there's, or 30 if we round it. So there's a 17.30. So we can see then easily in just the expenses then, what are the significant expenses in relation to that total expenses? So obviously the 17% is fairly significant in relation to the total expenses, the subtotals here, the total maintenance and repairs, the legal and professional at the 22, are going to be significant the job cost expenses it could be the total expenses give us an easier eyes view an easier way to spot out and see a little bit more clearly what expenses are going to be significant in comparison to the total expenses and those are the ones we want to draw our attention to most clearly because they have the biggest significant if there's any change in those particular expenses we can also compare those expenses to other industries that may be larger or smaller but in a similar industry and see if their large expenses are similar to ours in range with comparison to the total expenses. What we're going to do now is format this report. Then we will export it and we will memorize it and we'll save it as a PDF file. First thing we'll do is change the name of it. So the profit and loss report, we're going to select this little pencil up top and we're going to change it from profit and loss to the percentage of expense income statement. So we'll have a percent of expense income statement. Then we're going to remove the date and time prepared stamp at the bottom as we normally have been in our reports. So to do that, we will go up and customize the reports. We'll go to the header and footer, removing date, time, report basis, run that report. And we'll scroll down and see that that has been removed. Then we're going to remove the pennies. We're going to make the negative numbers 
uh, bracketed and make them red by customizing this report once again. Then we'll scroll down and we want to remove the sense and we want to change this negative sign to bracketed and then we'll want to make that red. That's going to be our format and we will then run that report again and there we see the bracketed numbers. We have removed the pennies from it. Now we're going to go ahead and save or memorize this report so we can generate it again without having to format it uh, as much, much easier to do. We will then do that by saying save or customize, save customization. Here we have that. We're going to put that to our group we've set up, which is my reports. Put that into my reports and save. It's then going to say custom report saved successfully. That's nice. Then we'll go to the left and just double check that that is indeed the case by going to the reports on the left. We're going to go to the custom reports up top tab. And we're going to see that we have this percentage of expenses in the my reports section. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. We're going to open this up. And there's our report once again. Now let's save it as a PDF file using the printing function. So we'll print it as a PDF file. So we will print. Double check the preview to make sure everything is fitting on a page as it looks like it is indeed doing. Then we'll go up top and select the print item. And print it to our cute PDF printer. This will in essence save the report as a PDF. We will then go to the desktop. We're going to look for our GGG folder, which is going to be the Get Great Guitars. We want to be in section three is the section we are on. Then we're going to put this report in place as percentage of expense income statement. Going to go ahead and save that report. Close out of this. Next, we're going to export it to Excel. We'll select the export item. We'll export it to Excel. Within Google Chrome, it generally has this tab down below, which we can then open up. That may look different in different browsers, but we should have some format to download it. Once downloaded, uh, we will then adjust it. If we have this enable editing, I'm going to allow the editing. And then we'll check to see if it fits in one page. So we'll do that by going to the second tab, the page layout. It does look like it's fitting on a page. If we go back to the normal view, we have our dotted line here. So it looks like it's all fitting on a page. We're going to go ahead and save this. Going to go to file, save as. We're going to practice organizing this in our folder. Go into the browse. We're going to put it on the desktop. We're going to put it in the GGG folder, section three. I'm going to change the name once again to the percentage of uh, expense income statement and save the report. There we have that. Now we're going to take this report and we're going to combine it on one worksheet with all reports we have done thus far related to the income statement. Here is our folder. If we go into our folder. We're going to see section three. There's section three. And we have all these reports. Now we're basically going to group them all together and we're grouping them together in the section three reports to put them all in one report so we can give them to someone very easily. So we will open up the section three reports. Here we have the section three reports and we can see all the reports that we have made thus far. We're going to then select a new tab where we're going to add this new report. New tab, double click on it. And we're going to say this is the percent of expense income statement and then we're going to go to our income statement here's our income statement we're going to select the entire thing control a or select the triangle right click and copy the entire worksheet go back to our other worksheet go into cell a1 right click and paste the first item so there we have it. So now we've got all this information on one worksheet and we can just give that one attachment. If we want to give something other than Excel, then we can print it as a PDF file. So we can go to the file tab. We can then go to print and we're going to print it to that cute PDF printer so that it will save as a PDF. We're going to change the active worksheet to the entire workbook. So we'll select the entire workbook. And now it's going to take the entire workbook, change to 10 pages. All of the reports are going to be on one PDF file. Let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to print it. 
we have it as section three so that's what we will keep it at and we'll save that then i'm going to close this back up saving it we're going to take a look now we have all these reports if we were to attach all this information even if we zipped it it would be kind of an ugly thing if we put it all in one report this is one way we can do that we could say it's all in section three all this information is in section three so we're going to double click on this if we were going to turn this into to a, an, an assignment for school or if we we're going to turn it in to a, a client or something like that or a supervisor then they can have one attachment on an email or upload it to whatever database system that is being used and we'll have all our reports basically that are lined up in uh, this one file and that's one way that we can organize this in a more effective way or a way that might be better displayed to people for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info